We are at the Mao Galleries in London for the 2016 Columbia Threadneedle Prize. Um, it's very exciting. We are going to find out this evening which of the six shortlisted artists wins this year's prize. This summer we have for about one month a selection of Threadneedle Prize displayed in Florence, which I think is nice because um, many of these artists are, of course, inspired by tradition. Figurative art, you know, tends to get overlooked a lot, and yet really it's the mainstay of the whole art market. A lot of the pictures have sold already because people want to buy the work, and it's going to get great exposure for all the artists because of the critics, the visitors who will flood through the galleries. So we're absolutely thrilled with this whole partnership that we have with Columbia Threadneedle, and it does Mal Galleries, which is a charity, enormous good and value. In the last few days, we finished restoring the gallery behind me, the ceiling has been uh, raised, uh, new lighting has been put in, new sound system. And the display today for the Columbia Threadneedle Prize, I think, looks stunning. Well, I'm here because uh, Columbia Threadneedle support the art room, which I'm the patron of. It brings a kind of therapy and art together for young children who, who uh, have difficult backgrounds, recognising the, the kind of mental health benefits of art, I think, which we don't talk about enough. We have a terrific evening ahead of us, culminating of course in the announcement of this year's winner of the Columbia Threadneedle Prize, selected from a short list of six wonderful artists, and I think we've got a really amazing array all around us here tonight. What would it mean to you though if, if the prize was yours? There's so many painters out there, to even get into this exhibition is incredible, it really, really is. This is just quite extraordinary sitting here and, and being with all these people to win the prize money. I would like to um, support artists probably in other fields through purchases and commissions to become a patron, yes. For me it's very important to be here in this moment. The money and the opportunity to exhibit, it gives you space and time and opportunity to, to paint. Winning the big one would be fantastic because I think for a lot of painters that are getting on to my age, um, I've got a huge body of work and some of that work's got buried at the back of a garage and I want to get it out. The money would go towards studio practice because uh, I spend an enormous amount of money on paint. Yep, and your big tins. <laughs> the winner of the 2016 Columbia Threadneedle Prize is Lewis Hazelwood Horner. Overwhelmed, completely overwhelmed. I mean, there's so many people here looking at your work. To win, I did not expect that in the slices. The money will go straight back into the work, which is um, which I like. So hopefully you'll see a progression of the work. It's going to get better. Uh, my mum always tells me to paint small, though. <laughs>